Oh dear. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, today I'm going to make an oil free pesto. So, Boom Girls sent me some greens, and this is their um, rocket mix. Um, this is about two thirds of what's in the the bag. There's also a bit more which I'm going to be using. Um, I think in something else. So um, I thought I'll make a pesto out of it. I'm going to make like um, for my lunch today. I'm going to make like a non-traditional tamales, and and that has pesto in it. It's inspired by my friend's book, Mind Food. Um, so I thought I'll make this. Uh, yeah. And I want to make it oil free, so um, this is a test, this is an experiment. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, I'll bring you guys um, overhead so you can actually see uh, the ingredients. Yeah, and I'll talk through the ingredients as well. Hello, Asamat. Okay. This here. Okay, good. You can let's move the light a bit. All right. Okay. So what I have is the rocket. Um, and then I have some pine nuts. I put two tablespoons of pine nuts, one clove of garlic. Um half a lime i'm gonna put the whole lime in although you might be a bit stringy but it's okay i like my food gritty and then um to replace the oil i'll be using zucchini or courgette as you call it and then um uh irish moss paste or irish sea moss paste sea moss paste it's what some people call it for the seasoning i'm going to be using the shiokoji as well as the fermented bean curd oh okay i'll just read to you what's inside because people are always asking um this is like uh used in traditional chinese cooking i really like the taste so instead of using nutritional yeast i thought i'll use this instead um because this is fermented there's no preservatives no you know no coloring no flavoring no sugar no msg so i thought i'll use this instead of nutritional yeast so um, there's bean curd, there's brown rice, koji, chili, sea salt, and water in this one. And um, if you're wondering what's in this one, I should know by now, I keep reading it. So this koji, organic Japanese rice, um, Celtic sea salt, and filtered water. Yeah, okay. Okay, so just very simple, just put everything in. Oh, um, I'm also going to put in some Sichuan pepper flakes. Yeah, so these are my the citron pancakes I've gone in. This is what it is. Yeah, so I kind of yeah I toasted it out a bit just now so that it's but not on very high heat, just on hundred degrees Celsius. So yeah, so I'm gonna just yeah um, process this first and hope that it gets all broken up. All right, I'll just be doing this off camera. Okay, so it got broken up slightly, not hugely, but slightly. Okay, so I'm going to put in the zucchini first. And then we'll put this in. Oh, I forgot to cut them. It's okay, I'll just break them. Thanks, Boom Girl, for sending this across. And then we'll put in the pine nuts. And then I'll put in the lime and the garlic going in as well. Okay, and then um, and then we'll put in the seasonings. 
Oh, let's put in the Irish moss paste first. So this is to help it blend better and also just to get the benefits of it. Plus I've been, plus I have, yeah, I have this, so I, since I made it, I should use it. We'll put in one block. Hmm, that's kind of like is that one block? It kind of broke up. I think some of the blocks. Okay, we'll put that in, and then we'll see how it goes. Whether it needs more, and then we'll put one teaspoon of this. Yum. Okay. And then we'll blend it up and see what happens. Okay, it still needs more um, blending because the pine nuts have not been blended up. This is what it looks like right now with the pine nuts. Yeah, not blended. Processed. It's smelling good. I shouldn't have peeled the zucchini because if you want it to be green, I shouldn't have peeled the zucchini. Maybe I put in some wheatgrass powder since um, Organic you send that to me. I think I'll do that. Yeah. That might be interesting to give it a superfood boost. All right. Okay, let me get my wheatgrass powder. So if anyone is interested, if you are in Malaysia, you can use my code Chef Yin to get 10% off. Go to organicule.com. We'll put in one teaspoon. Okay, time to process again. This texture. Let's just taste it. 
Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. I think it will go well with the tamales. Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking more. Mm. Okay. I think we're good. So let's scoop it out a bit. So you can see. Oh. Which city or which country you're watching from? So this has kind of like a bitter, slightly bitter aftertaste. But we're not eating it on its own. The tamales will have a harissa as well. Um, yeah, and then there's some buttered corn as well. Vegan butter. Coconut butter. Which I haven't... Uh, yeah, so, you know, just gonna use this and push it in. Ooh, <laughs> this is full. I'm impressed. Okay, so there you go. That's your pesto. Oh, okay. Let me just, um, let me flip so you can see my face. <laughs> there you go, that's what it looks like. And just flip it back. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching and um, thanks Boom Grow for sending through the, the rocket which I've turned into a pesto um, and also just another reminder if you're in Malaysia use my code Chef Yin um, to get your wheatgrass powder and um, if you want to watch more of these videos I do share exclusive videos tonight I'm going to share an exclusive video with those who read my e-newsletters so um, there's a link in the description uh, uh, to sign up for the free e-newsletter I have recipes, videos, special offers, stories, tips, techniques, rants, everything <laughs> that you don't get in uh, my normal social media, you'll get it there. So yeah, sign up for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another one. Remember, animals are our friends. Not food. Go vegan. Raw vegan, if possible. Bye-bye.